At its core, the heel hook is an attack on the knee joint, using the calcaneus, the heel bone, as a lever to apply torsional force, rotational force, through the ankle joint and the shin bone to attack the knee. Let's look at the relevant anatomy. The ankle joint is composed of three bones. The tibia on the medial side, the inside. The fibula laterally on the outside. And the talus. The previously mentioned calcaneus heel bone is here. The ankle joint is a fairly stable joint. It has bone on the medial side, the inside, superior to the joint, above the joint, and laterally. The two bones of the leg are the shin bone, the tibia, and the fibula. The knee joint has four bones, the thigh bone or femur, patella or kneecap, the tibia, and the fibula. Some of the internal structures of the knee include the anterior cruciate ligament. Ligaments are strong bands of fibrous tissue that connect bone to bone. The main purpose of the anterior cruciate ligament is to prevent excessive anterior forward motion of the tibia relative to the femur. The medial collateral ligament, the lateral collateral ligament, and the two menisci, the shock absorbers composed of cartilage, the medial meniscus on the inside and the lateral meniscus on the outside. Generally speaking, during a heel hook, the player uses his legs to secure the femur, lock it into place, and uses his arms to manipulate the calcaneus, the heel bone, to apply rotation through the ankle joint and the leg bones to attack the knee. There are two main types of heel hooks, the outside heel hook and the inside heel hook. The tibia has approximately 15 degrees of internal rotation, meaning rotation toward the midline of the body, and 30 degrees of external rotation. The outside heel hook starts outside and rotates the ankle and tibia internally toward the midline of the body. The inside heel hook starts on the inside and rotates the ankle and tibia externally away from the midline of the body. During an outside heel hook, as mentioned, with the internal rotation, the structures that can be torn include the lateral collateral ligament and injure the anterior cruciate ligament. When the knee is fully extended, straightened, during the application of a heel hook, the anterior cruciate ligament is at its upper limits of functional capacity. It is stretched to the max, and it can be injured. There are three grades of ligament injury. Grade 1, where the fibers have been stretched. Grade 2, where there's a partial tear. And a grade 3, where there is a complete tear. During the application of an inside heel hook, which starts inside and rotates the tibia externally, the structures that can be injured there are the medial menis medial collateral ligament, sometimes the medial meniscus because it is attached in a complex to the medial collateral ligament, and again a grade 1, 2, or 3 injury to the anterior cruciate ligament. But in summary, the heel hook uses the calcaneus as a lever to apply rotational torsional force to attack the knee, and the most common structures that can be injured are the anterior cruciate ligament and depending upon whether it's an outside heel hook or inside heel hook, of course, the medial collateral ligament, the lateral collateral ligament, and the menisci.